lasting impression. And he has to get that playing time tonight. And let's face it, this is where we are. Guys on the bubble trying to make the team. And there are a bunch of guys who are not going to make the team. But they're playing, hoping someone will see them on film and pick them up if they get cut. So it's a huge night for Devin Wade. No matter what his playing time is, he has to impress. And his first pass is incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. Devin will throw. And he comes back with one complete. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Devin drops back. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I know we're watching every drive of Devin Wade with just extra scrutiny, but does this hurt his chances here? It definitely does because for the average person trying to make the team, the average bubble player, there are more opportunities. But for him, limited drives, limited opportunities, every play matters. So first and 10 now from the 30. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. One thing that has had social media on fire as of late is the rumor that Antonio Brown might be traded. What do you make of that? Well, initially, I just don't buy it. That's not what Pittsburgh does. They don't give up talents like Antonio Brown. But we have seen strange things happen in the NFL, so we'll just have to wait and see. And a lot of credible sources have put their name behind these rumors. We'll see, indeed. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps his... And it's caught. Touchdown. Nice little drive Charles put together there by Devin Wade. You've got to think that that will help his cause. And remember, in this game, he's likely to get a couple more drives, unlike the first two preseason games. If he can make a strong impression in this one, perhaps the Turk won't visit his room on cutdown day and tell him that he hasn't made the squad. He's trying his best to earn his spot. So Devin Wade about to begin his second series. Take us inside his mind right now. What do you think is going on? Do you have any advice for what he can do here? I'm going to give you some of that tried and true advice that sounds a little trite, but it's something he has to exploit. And that's just take what the defense gives you right now. Use your legs when necessary to break off bigger chunks when you get comfortable. But just go ahead, make it easy for yourself. Delta, Look Delta. good doing it. Alaska! Alaska! First and ten, Devin Wade back to pass. And incomplete to open things up. Well, not really a big deal there for Devin Wade, just one incompletion. Yeah, make sure you take a deep breath, relax, go to your happy place. Don't put too much pressure on just one pass. And now the second play of the drive coming up. Second and ten. Wade to throw it again. Oh, interception. Devin Wade throws the pick. Not the way he wanted to end this drive. And they will score a pick six for the Texans TD. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and ten. shotgun wide open receiver complete and he'll be taken down but not before he gets into enemy territory nice way to start the drive a gain of 12 and a first down well how about this aggressive approach got the lead fourth quarter continuing to throw the football are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. it I did, did not. Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. He hits Beasley right side. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. 
These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Let's go back to that Antonio Brown trade talk. Let's say he does get traded, Charles. I'm curious, what team do you think is the best fit for him? Well, New England's always an interesting spot. Guys always flourish when they go there. What about Green Bay? Be able to go there and play with Aaron Rodgers. But I'm going to tell you the surprise team, Houston. I'm hearing rumors that they're all in. Want to give Deshaun Watson as many weapons as possible? How about DeAndre Hopkins and Antonio Brown? Yeah, that offense could score some points. A first down carry for Smith. Oh, no, he lost the football. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. That ball had to be good. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the Texans say they have it. They do. Devin Wade leads him to the red zone, but that is a tough sack to take on third down. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and ten. Wade in the gun. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. A huge play there right off the bat. And even 40 yards. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. That little arc on it, he's got to find a way to get his head around and make the play on the football. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. He has enough for the first down on the keeper, a gain of six. But, Charles, I want to fit in a discussion you and I had off air earlier. Devin Wade, so many people talking about him. How does he compare, though, to RG3 and what they've got in this system right now? Well, let's just kind of go to the pro-cons list, right? You know, you sit down, you make out your list on paper. Let's start with RG3. He's kind of a been there, done that type of a quarterback, but totally unfulfilled. Remember how he hit the league, all right? I mean, he was a bomb. They go... to the playoffs when he's in Washington. He shows off all the skills. Big arm, legs, exciting. Galvanizes a team. But then he can't stay healthy. Continuing to try and make... And it's caught. Touchdown. Nice drive there for Devin Wade. And everything he does right now, so under a microscope. Kind of sense that he's like, oh, all right, I had a good drive. I, I can breathe for a minute. So you're saying he can't really be happy about that drive. He can feel a little relief. Relief. Here's the key, though. He still has a few drives left. I'm sure the coaches like that drive. He did as well. But he has to string them together, stack them together in order to create that great last impression and make the team. But Devin Wade's time on the field is about running out. The word we're getting is he's going to have this drive, Charles, and then one more. So that means his mindset has to be clear. He has to be focused. Two drives left has to get done what's necessary to create that great impression. So first and 10 now from the 30. Throwing on first down. Wade. He's got Thompson here. Complete. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. So Devin Wade picks up some yards there on the first pass play, but does not get the first down. Yeah, but there shouldn't be any discouragement on that one. This first down pass. He can pick it up on second down. Just keep him moving. Second down, Devin will throw it. And Beasley with it over the middle. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. 
Third down, Devin Wade from the shotgun. And decided to run a hitch route. It really helps have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Call it a gain is seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. That is an absolute backbreaker. That was a design passing play. Wasn't a draw. You think you got him stopped. Good coverage downfield. And he's able to pick up the first with his legs defensively. That kicks into your psyche and hurts a little bit, doesn't it? It certainly does. And, and here's the thing. Anytime you give up a first down, it hurts you psychologically. But it hurts more when they get it this way. Because you've covered everything. He didn't have any place to throw the football. He takes off running and picks it up anyway. And now you have to stay on the field for an extra set of downs. And really could have used that stop trailing here in the fourth. That is caught at the seven. And all the way down inside the five to the four. That one good for 17 yards. And now they've got it first and goal. Now they're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it. Touchdown, Devin to Flavors. All right, we've been setting them up for this play all night. They're going to be in a cover, too. So you take a five-step drop, find Reggie on the sideline. When he breaks the corner, you sling it. We'll get out of here with a win. All right, let's do it. Hey, look for your boy on the post. I'll be open. Hey, it's not the play, man. Come on, Wade. It'll work, man. And you need this. Just let Tito be Tito. All right, here we go, fellas. Eyes on me. All right, we're going to go red, right, 82, buzz, wide corner. Check alert, Ozzy right, opposite, 27, Cardinal. All right, on three, on three. Who's right with me, boys? Here we go. Ready, break! Come on, man, I'm telling you, find me. I'll catch it. Final play of the game, second and ten, only four seconds left. And the Cowboys down six on the opponent's 22. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Wade to Flavors. The Cowboys in for six. And Charles Devin Wade gets 19. it. A lot of tired bodies on that field. But this is a big play. Third and goal. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. Well, that was definitely not what the coaches had in mind, not what Devin Wade had in mind. And let's face it, it didn't matter how many receivers were out on the line. The offense on third down, two for five to this point. They're looking at a third and goal here. Looking to throw. Wade, and incomplete on the deep ball. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big Luke shot. The offense on third down tonight. They've converted just two for six thus far. This will be third and forever. Touchdown, Tito Flavors, courtesy of Devin Wade. Congratulations for keeping you around. What? <laughs> Practice squad at first. But you keep doing the work, and I don't think you'll be there long. <laughs> oh, thank you, Coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Coach. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nice job, Camp Arm. Welcome to the team. Thanks, Mac. Welcome to the scout team, gentlemen. Your job is to get the defense ready for what they'll see on Sunday. Wade, you got a tough job this week. We're facing Tom Brady, the greatest. We need you to be him today. Got it.
Have you seen this yet? Devin Wade showing off at practice, launches the ball 80 yards. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> Hello? Wait, seriously? Yeah, that's, that's great. Wow. Um, well, you can bring as many guys as you want in, but I'm going to impress you the most. <laughs> Tomorrow. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I, I can be wherever you need me to be. Okay, thank you. Come on, pick up, pick up. Dolphins called, Coach. Bring me out for a tryout tomorrow. Coach. Coach. Hank. Hank! Wake up! Stay with me, Coach. Help! Help! Somebody help! Hey, Donnie. You wanted to see me? Hey, Dev. Come on in. Yep. Have a seat. What's up? Well, the last time you were here was the superstar you. <laughs> I just want to play, Coach. Then there was Grumpy Earl. Oh, I need Devin to do 100 more push-ups. And then there was me, a beacon of support, an unconditional love. I support Devin. I'm in his team. I'm the one who signed him. OK. Now imagine that viral video as some sort of rocket fuel jetpack. Oh, no. Devin's succeeding. Oh, we can't have that. Where's my value? Oh, don't overshoot your landing. We're a team. We're in this together. I'm the one aside. And that's exactly what happened. I set you up with that viral video. Rocket fuel. But now my hands are tied. You get it, right? Uh, yeah. I, yeah. Um. All right. I'll spell, it, I'll spell it out for you. You've been signed over from our practice squad by the Houston Texans. You leave tomorrow. <gasps> I thought we were a team. Wow, you... But I guess congratulations are in order. You got what you wanted. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh, man. Is, uh, is, is Earl in his office? I wanted to tell him thanks before I... No. He resigned this morning. His health. Take this. Nope. I'm gonna need it. For the next guy. Something to remember him by. Thanks. Hey. Good luck, kid. <laughs> 